So this is part, what we're part one now, this is part four, this is part four, this is making the piston for our easy engine, our little two stroke engine, and what am I doing, oh I've got some, this is 6061, the really shitty bog standard extruded aluminium that you get from anywhere, nothing really sexy, I was going to get some hypotetric aluminium, something with a bit more silicon in, but to be quite honest, this engine is never really going to be pushed to really do anything, so it's like I said, it's just a teaching aid. Any road without me yabbing on, this is quite a big, a lot bigger than we need, so I basically put it between centres and then turn the diameter to close to where we want it, which is just a smidgen under 30 millimetres. So I'm getting close, I think it's like 30 and a half millimetres or 30.5. Um, I then use the parting off tool to put a 1mm, I think this is 1.6mm parting off tool, things fucking tiny. It's not used. To, it's not what I usually use, I usually do a lot heavier machining but uh, needs must and this is a well underpowered small machine. Any road, I machine the um, piston ring groove to the depth that I require and I will go through this later on of um, when we actually get around to the how this engine works videos. Any road, so I've done the piston ring groove, we've only done one for this um, particular engine, um, so we have the ability to add two or more, possibly in the future. Anyway, so all I do is just part that off, flip that around and face the head, and uh, this is what we end up with so far, apart from the, the cap, you can see the piston, which is nearly to size, there's a few more operations that we need to do on that. We've got the con rod which has been basically cut out and we've got the cylinder sleeve. And there's the uh, 20p piece to uh, give us a bit of reference. Right, so this is part five, part five, and we are making the cylinder. So uh, I've lobbed off a piece of that 70mm aluminium billet that we have and I'm centre drilling it so I can put a centre in it so I can tear between centres and one of the first things I do is machine the base of the cylinder so the base of the cylinder because this is the coldest, the cooler part of the cylinder it doesn't need to have the coolant fins on the other great thing about this it means that I can machine a smaller OD and then flip it around and hold it properly uh, yet again if you can just see there that I've put some uh, phosphor bronze shim in there just not to mark that nice surface that I've uh, just machined. I then machine the OD and then proceed to uh, centre drill this so I can stick it between centres as you can see there. Now I've left this scraggly shitty bit where the centre is because I'm going to eventually um, face this off so it's nice and pretty and what have you. Next thing I do is I go along and I mark off um, in the uh, Sharpie marks you can see on the actual OD, I've marked off where all the fins um, should be and I think they're 6mm apart and then I start attacking it with the uh, parting off tool and basically just start machining out all these fins and unfortunately when I start to do this parting, this depth cut um, the machine loves to stall now and then because it literally it's on the edge of its torque capacity, I think it's like a 500 watt motor is a piece of shit really but anyway eventually I got the job done and then I started to uh, I'm ready to um, oh it will come to me I'm ready to bore it out I'm ready to bore the cylinder out to make it slightly undersized so we can press the sleeve in um, you can also see there from that picture that I've also uh, just come off uh, come in with a chamfering tool and just chamfered all in fins so they're nice and uh, not trying to kill you. So I'm trying to get some shots here of um, boring this out and this took absolutely bloody if forever. The one because the machine doesn't really have that much torque. Number two is because the tool is absolutely bloody tiny and I just started to open it up um, pass by pass by pass and I tried to get some good shots with this little little shitty LED light so I could actually see inside. This is actually more for my benefit because I really couldn't see as you can see it's quite dark and it's late at night at work, all the lights have been turned off and what have you. Um, but it's nice just to sit here and do this while everyone else is pissed off. Anyway you can see me progress more and more and make a bigger and bigger hole and bore the thing out. And this is the um, 
this is where I'm at, at well this is where I was at at present uh, I've got the sleeve, got the cap and I have the cylinder so next job is will be to um, cool down the sleeve and uh, press the two together